a triangle PQR shown in the following diagram, right? And it says that it's right angled and the length of PR is 23.6. So this length here is 23.6. And then it says the length of PQ is X. So just write these on the diagram. PQ is X. And the length of QR is 6.2 centimeters longer than PQ. So QR is, is longer, right? By 6.2 centimeters, 6.2 centimeters longer than PQ. So if PQ is X, this is going to be 6.2 centimeters longer than X. So basically X plus 6.2. And then it says show that X satisfy this. So another quadratic equation, but it's based on this triangle. And of course, because they're giving us three sides in the triangle, we can use, if you remember, Pythagoras' rule, yeah? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So just use that, right? And of course, the C is the hypotenuse, right? Um, and then, you know, you can call this your A and your B if you want. It's two shorter sides. So we need to square this, right? Okay, we need to square each side, right? And, and it all satisfies Pythagoras' theorem. We, we can say this is true, because it's a right angle triangle. So this now squared, right? Now, be careful, when you square this, we need to put it in a bracket, right? Because you need to square the whole thing. And then, of course, you square this. That's easy, isn't it? It's just x squared. And, of course, then you square the 23.6. So it's a bit of calculator work. When you square this, as I said, be careful, you've got to, you've got to square the bracket, so we need to write this bracket out twice. Okay, x plus 6.2, x plus 6.2, plus x squared, equals then 23.6 squared, let's work that out. Um, so I got 556.96, okay. Now, um, we've got to do FOIL on this, right, so first you get x squared, Outers, you get x times 6.2, which is 6.2x. Inners, you get 6.2 times x, which is 6.2x. And last, 6.2 .2 times 6.2, so 6.2 squared. And that's 38.44 on my calculator. Plus then the x squared equals 556.96. Let's simplify this. x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. 6.2x plus 6.2x is 12.4x plus the 38.44 and then take that over it becomes minus 556.96 I've got the sort of I got the sort of inclination to bring this over the other side because then it becomes a minus but more importantly you put that equal to zero because that's what they got there now we could simplify this a little bit further 2x squared plus 12.4x and I put these numbers together here 38. 44, take away 556.96 and I get minus 518.52 equals 0 and then you know to get what I want there of course you can see there's a 2 here in front so we maybe divide everything by 2 so that becomes x squared that becomes 6.2x and when you divide this by 2 of course you're going to get that there aren't you okay check on your calculator and get that equals to 0 Part B then, it says uh, solve the equation equals zero to calculate the lengths PQ and QR, giving you answers correct to one decimal place, right? So again, it brings that formula idea in because you've got a quadratic, you've got to solve it to one decimal place. So you're, you've got to use the formula, right? Because it's to one decimal place. A is just one then, the number in front of the X squared there. B is equal to the number in front of the X, which is 6.2. And C is equal to this constant here, minus 259.26. Okay, so using the formula, Minus b, so minus 6.2, plus or minus square root b squared, so 6.2 squared. Take away 4 times a times c, which is this minus, so put in a bracket. All over 2a, so 2 times 1. So then let's work this out, the square root. So we've got what that's going to be. 6.2 squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 259. 0.26 and I get out 1075.48 all over 2 times 1 which is 2 you take the positive you take the negative um, and what is x representing of course x is representing pq isn't it okay so it's, it's a length isn't it right so you know it's only the positive one we're going to take here really isn't it Okay, because if I put, if I work with the negative one, it's going to give me a negative answer. So 
to get 13.3. Okay, as I said, if, if that was if we take the minus option, it's going to be negative my overall. So I'm just going to I'm not going to do it. We, it would be make good sense to do it, and then you could say impossible there. You could say you can't have negative length, right? But just to keep this short here, I've got my x here, so that's basically pq is equal to 13.3, and then to get um, qr. I just got to do x plus 6.2, isn't it? So you get 19.5 centimeters.